Congressman Steve Stivers, a Republican veteran, also holding on to his seat on Capitol Hill. The Brigadier General fending off Democratic challenger Joel Newby, a margin of about 60 to 40 percent. NBC4's Eric Halperin has been covering that race for us. Eric? <laughs> And Colleen, I talked with Congressman Stivers shortly after he was declared the winner in that race. He said right after that he actually got a call from his opponent, Newby, and that the two talked, that they plan on meeting up soon and having coffee, and that one of the things that they plan on talking about and that they agree on is that they need to heal the divide in their district and the divide in their country. Now, we're at a uh, GOP watch party here in Westerville at the Renaissance Hotel right now. Stivers has told me he is not coming here tonight because he's been driving around to the different counties in his district talking to voters there. He says the number one priority now that he has been reelected is another COVID relief package. On another note here at tonight's party, there have been a couple recent cheers. We have heard from a couple speakers tonight. First, the state chairman, Jane Timken. And then once the numbers started trending positive in President Trump's direction, we heard from Senator Rob Portman. And they both say that they are optimistic and the Republicans' chances here in Ohio. And they say they are confident Republicans will do well here. Live and local for you in Westerville, I'm Eric Halpern, NBC4.